Hackspace is a set of facilities for students to prototype their ideas. Uh, we are from 3D printing, digital manufacturing, general woodwork. And we organize this project to give students a professional experience of what it means to work in the creative industry. And also, we wanted to bring students from every department of the Imperial College together to showcase innovation in Imperial through design, engineering, science. And we have across nine departments in this project that are working together. Together, we came up with what Sensorium is now, which is an experience of what it's like to be an Imperial student um, and we're hoping that people can come in and enjoy this uh, throughout the days. This piece is for everyone. Uh, the piece is just to see how the arts, sciences, different departments, everyone can come together and collaborate and create something both fascinating, amazing and beautiful. We decided to give students a new type of experience that we call the Design Studio Experience Programme where well, stu a student can experience like an actual design studio in the creative industry. Public engagement is important in terms of, I think, science, art, anything, especially at big institutions, because it's about inspiration. So for me, today, days like this are about inspiring students to say, wow, that's amazing, I didn't know that could be done. I didn't even know these things existed. You know, maybe kids here, this is the first time they've been to an art installation, especially if they're very young, and kind of fusing that with some of the cool things that you see around here. It's important to get the next generation of people into institutions like this. This is a huge opportunity to try something at the scale. Usually our courses don't allow us to kind of go wild and go big like Sensorium has allowed us to do. Um, so for us, it's just really been a way to get our creative side out to the public and kind of try to see if it's inside of us and try to see if you know maybe it has a future as well. We are opening doors between departments which is quite rare so far in Imperial College and we are also showing that innovation can exist between art, design, science, engineering and this is the best platform we can imagine to start with. With the level of research that goes on in Imperial it's hard to get people to meet. Everyone's kind of doing their own thing in their own department, everyone's incredibly busy so it's really just a great space to get a lot of researchers, scientists, people um, to engage with the public but also to engage with each other. So actually to get them to come and see what can be done when scientists work together and with artists and across college and perhaps that will just inspire maybe a little bit of uh, collaboration between departments and that's what the Hackspace is really trying to do to make sure that those doors are always open. What we're hoping to gain from this is just watching people walk in on one end kind of experiencing the exhibit in different ways um, so everyone can kind of take their own uh, experience. So it's the same way that we are at Imperial, each of us have our own kind of studying experience. Everyone inside will have a different experience as well. And then when they walk out, it's just about seeing a smile on their face and hoping that we made their day. Um, and that's really what it's all about. It's been amazing, really. Uh, we've had queues from about 12 p.m. when we opened every day, and we had to stop people off at the end of the, each day to stop people going in. It's been so overwhelmingly positive. Everyone's reacted a bit differently. So this is a piece that allows for interpretation, as a lot of these interactive installations do. Um, and we found that there have been some that come in and they just, you can immediately see this smile and this delight on their face, uh, especially when they get to the light wall. You know, the one person I observed kind of ran out, saw his mirror image, didn't believe it, and then kind of ran back away and popped back out again and saw it happen twice. And then he started doing the normal thing where you kind of see a mirror image where you don't expect it, you know, like right hand went up, then left hand went up. And he did it. It just Some people just couldn't even believe what was possible with the technology that we put out. And... It's really nice to see that wonder and amazement, uh, which is exactly what we hoped for when we set out to create Sensorium. Uh, we wanted to know which kind of value we can get from a multidisciplinary team building such a huge scale project. And it's been very positive. I think all the students and from the outside, so from the teaching, uh, from the design world, we just had a couple of offers to go on tour with the project, which is really, uh, really exciting. Right. One of the things that we could really do different or try to improve on is conveying the story. So one of the things that was really difficult in this space was 
uh, we've taken what we think is the imperial experience, made it abstract, and then shown it to a lot of persons who've gone through the imperial experience, mm. um, but it wasn't necessarily always obvious on first look. Uh, a lot of people ask the question, you know, what are, how is everything tied together? What would I say to someone who's thinking of exhibiting? Do it. Do it, because <laughs> you have a lot of very different people coming from all over the place, young kids, uh, like people I saw were like a group of old guys, alumni, and it said like aeronautical engineering 1953 on all three badges. And I mean like the variety of people here is amazing. And I think all of them are looking to learn something and see what can be done. And mm -hmm. so if you're looking to exhibit here, it's, it's a great place to get a really varied wide audience and to really capture people's imaginations. And also maybe take people who wouldn't perhaps always go to an art exhibition or go to something a bit different and put it in this place. And I think that's maybe why it was so yeah. popular here, because there was nothing else like this exactly. at the festival this year.